Hello guys and welcome back to another Unturned video. In this video, I'm going to be doing uh, Tips and Tricks Episode 2 because the first one did pretty well. So I decided to do the second one also to end make it a series. So um, let's get right into it. Tip number one. So uh, very few people actually know this, but um, you can hotkey items. What you have to do is right click them and then tap a number three through zero so i mean uh, uh three four five six seven eight nine zero um and uh, it's very very helpful for hotkeying items like med kits in arena and stuff like that or like a canteen like i just did and it's really really good um just for many many uses you can actually not do this with um guns though unfortunately Tip number two. So what you can, um, many people don't know this, but, um, you know, the canteen in the game, it used to be that any type of water would be fine and you could drink it, but now with the addition of rain barrels, you cannot do that anymore. So, as you can see, my thing is empty, and this is salt water right here. So if I fill it up and I drink it, my sickness goes down drastically, like by 25%, something like that, and, um, it barely gives me any, um, like, less thirst, it's not very good, but if you have a full rain barrel after it rains, this is fresh water, and this does not hurt you all, at all, and it gives you, like, 50 to 75%, uh, uh, thirst, and this also works with wells. Tip number three. So, um, everybody knows that the Eagle Fire is, uh, semi-automatic, and it's a, it's a DSR, if, if you will. Um, I recommend putting, like, a, a Red Cross scope or a Chevron, nothing, like, with that much zoom. But did you know when you hit G, you can turn it into a burst assault rifle? I've never seen anyone ever using this, but I, uh, like to... So this is me trying to control the recoil right now, and this is me with not, so there's control, and, okay, I'm shooting controlled recoil right now, and I think there's a lot of recoil when you try and do it, that's controlled, and then here is controlled, so it's pretty ridiculous, but you can easily control it if you just move your mouse down at the exact same time. Tip number four. So everybody knows that if you're in a vehicle and you're driving, when you to stop, you, you hit S to go backwards, and then you slow down and essentially stop. But you'll either start going backwards a little bit, or you'll keep rolling forward the slightest bit. But did you know that um, you can actually just press the space bar and um, that's like slamming on the brakes. I uh, just did it right there. And um, it brings it to a halt like really fast. So if you're about to drive into the water, it's really good for that. Or if you're not paying attention and then you're about to like drive off a cliff or something like that, then it can save you. Tip number five. So I'm sure that you've seen a million YouTubers cover this, but I'm just going to do it again because it's a very good PvP base location. So, um, typically nobody really searches in containers on PvP, but what you can do is you can take a metal door frame. Uh, you want to make it as centered as possible. Uh, sort of like, yeah, like this. And you want to place it down and then put a vault door inside of it. Um... I prefer opening outward instead of inward because all your stuff will get cramped. But, um, people will like. Typically, you're only checking containers if you're fresh spawn for, like, I don't know, a melee weapon or some clothing. And if you're fresh spawn, there's no way that you're gonna be able to break through a um, metal door like that without explosives. So, you can put all your belongings and stuff inside of it. And it's really nice. You can fit two to three um, lockers on one side without it protruding and um, 
yeah, that looks really good. And then, um, you want to salvage the frame, the uh, metal, the frame around the thing so it doesn't protrude through the walls. You can see my cr uh, my chest or whatever it's called, but, um, you can move them so uh, it uh, doesn't look like that. Hey guys, I'm, I'm back. I just, uh, finished uh, getting the gameplay for my, uh, Tips and Tricks episode 2, and I left and I actually got this anniversary gift bag. So I just thought that I would, um, you know, unwrap it and make something at the end. So I get like a mystical thing, but I really doubt it. Yellow party hat. That's <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess. Nothing special. I wonder how much it's worth on the market. Probably a lot right now. Oh no, it's not worth anything. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, maybe check out a couple of my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one.